Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, I would like to welcome you and hope that you are here to stay. Please subscribe, share, and like the video. This makeup tutorial today is inspired by Juvia's Place Masquerade Palette, and it is a fall makeup tutorial. Let's begin. I'm first of all priming my face with MAC Prep and Prime. And now I'm using Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit to color correct. And I'm using that orange color that I pointed to. I'm just going to go under my eye and my cheek with that. I'm using Sigma's F80 flat brush to apply my foundation. And the foundation that I'm using today is Urban Decay All Nighter foundation and I'm using shade 9.0 and I'm about to uh, blend but it looks like I went in with too much foundation and guys don't get me wrong okay I'm just trying to be casket ready here but um, I think I put a little bit too much but I'll make it work so next I'm using Revlon color stay concealer as my highlighter today and I'm going to apply that under my eye, my nose area, my cupid's bow, and my forehead along with my chin. I'm using the wine from Color Stay Concealer to apply the dark shade from Anastasia Beverly Hills down my nose area. With a damp beauty blender, I am about to blend out my contour. Well, I guess when I'm done dancing for you guys. <laughs> And guys, don't forget when you are blending these liquid uh, foundation or concealers, you need to add fast because they are fast drying. Because you don't want your foundation kicking on your face. And so you need to add fast. Now I'm going to go in with Tarte Tartier's palette by uh, Makeup Sheila. And I'm going to take that uh, banana shade and set under my eye. I'm going to use a lot of the shade from that contour palette today um, in, within this uh, tutorial. And I'm taking out that shade within that palette and I am setting my contour along my cheek. I'm also using a flat brush from Juvia's Place to clean around my contour. And now I'm moving on to my eyes and I'm using that light shade that I'm pointing to right now. I'm going to go ahead and use that as my transition color. And if you do see, I already have my other eye done. And so I'm just going to do this. I had it done off camera and I'm just going to go ahead and... Um, follow the same steps on this other eye going into my Murphy um, 35 Debbie palette and I'm taking a dark shade that I pointed at and I'm going in my auto crease area and I'm just gonna darken that area but for now I'm just blending and I'm using a blending brush right now from Murphy I'm going to the Masquerade palette from Juvia's Place and the shade I'm using now is Bori, it's B-O-R-I. I'm going to apply it in the middle of my eyelid. And I'm going 
going to go over that so that I have a good pigmentation on there. And I use a flat brush at first. Now I'm just going in with a pencil brush because I wanted to have more of the color applied. So I decided to use a pencil brush for more pigmentation. Next I'm going to take a flat brush and go back into the masquerade palette and I'm taking the shade Gaza and I'm placing that directly in my inner tear dot area. I'm going to apply more of that to the other eye for more pigmentation. But before I blend out, I'm just going to use an eyeliner to smudge under my eye with a smudge brush. And I later went in the Morphe 35 Debut Palette and took that dark shade that I used earlier on and smudged it under my eye. Next, I'm going into the Tadius Palette for our makeup shade and I'm going to blend in that shade in my crease area because I'm at this point I'm looking for a seamless uh, look so I'm just going to blend those shades above there with my L'Oreal Paris Telescopic Eyeliner in Carbon Black I'm going to line my eyes with that I didn't want to do a dramatic wink eyeliner because I, I um, did not want to take away from the colors on my eyelid and also um, knowing that I'm going to use some false eyelashes I just really want to do a dramatic uh, wink eye on this look. Now I'm blending, um, all of, I'm blending out the powder and I'm going in with that dark shade as well and using my MAC 189 brush. And I'm just using it as a bronzer. Just bronzing my face right now. And I'm gonna follow in with my NARS Orgasm blush. This is a very pretty, pretty, pretty blush. I love it so much. And I'm going in with Fusion Boost Lip Pencil. It's a prolong wear lip pencil from MAC Cosmetics. And I'm just filling in my lips with that. Not my entire lip, but most of uh, my lips, uh, excluding the uh, middle. But I'm just, yeah, just going ahead and filling in that. And the lipstick that I'm going to use is from Laura Mercier. And the name is Sketch. I'm going to just, uh, just apply that to my lips as well. Yes, guys, this is the final look. I love how everything came together. And if you do have any questions, please leave a comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel, share the videos, and thumbs up like always. And I would like to say goodbye for now from Peaches October. I love you guys so much for watching. Okay, so while doing my makeup today, my sister-in-law stopped by with some flowers for me. And um, in that bag was a card and candle. And the reason for that is because she went out of town and I happened to help them with my niece, which I told her, I said, girl, you don't need to be bringing me gifts because she's my niece and I'm always here for you guys. Uh, her name is Tina. <laughs> and we're just having fun. Um, anyway, yeah, thanks for watching thumbs up yeah i'm showing my happy face now i'm dancing i'm dancing <laughs> she thought she was taking a picture with me okay she's talking about her face being beat okay there you go miss pretty showing her face here you go she's feeling her makeup she's feeling it <laughs> all right well i hope
hope to see you guys in my next video.